I'm Michaela Burton from Do It Differently and we're here at the London Road Clinic in Leicester today and Donna is going to demonstrate having the Dixhall Pike test and the Epley manoeuvre with us today. So Donna has previously had dizziness on the right side when she lies down and turns over in bed and this is suggestive of a condition known as BPPV which is benign paroxysmal positional vertigo otherwise known as crystals being loose within the ear. So for the Dixhall Pike test we have them sitting comfortably on the couch, ideally enough distance that the head is either just at the end of the couch or potentially slightly off. Please be aware though that if somebody's got any issues with their neck, you don't want to be dropping their head off the end of the couch, so you better be flat on the bed. So we're going to just turn 45 degrees to the affected side, or the believed to be affected side, and we're going to just gently lie flat all the way down into this position. If need be, you can just very gently lift the eyebrow to open the eye a little bit more, but Donna's looking in just the right spot so we can see the eye nice and clearly. And what we're looking for is to see whether the eyes spin or twist, but they're being nice and clear. That's good. Okay. Now you'll, you might notice where I've got my hands, I've got one hand underneath her head supporting her head, but I've also got one hand just on top, just nice and gently, not covering the ear. If you just try and sit up for me Donna, so the position of my hand just make sure that her head stays exactly where we need it to be. Okay, if they're feeling very dizzy and the world starts spinning, often people want to try and sit up at the worst time, so we don't want that to happen. You okay there? Mm -hmm. Okay. So once we've made sure that that's either clear or any dizziness that's there and the spinning has stopped, we just very gently get them to turn to look 45, 45 degrees to the other side. So again, making sure keeping con control of the head, we just gently roll to look to the fo 45 degrees to the other side. And again, we look to see whether the eyes start spinning which they're being nice and still. That's wonderful. You should be aware whilst turning that the head isn't lifted and turned because when that happens, the crystals will go from one canal into another and you will feel an awful lot worse. Okay, is that feeling okay still? Yeah. Lovely. So if we imagine that the test had been positive on the right side, we'd had spinning on the right side, feeling okay on this side, to go ahead and treat with the Epley manoeuvre. Keep the head in this position. Turn your body onto your left side for me, so all the way onto your left hip and shoulder. So we're turning away from the affected side. And then again, just rolling the head to look 45 degrees down. You feeling okay there? Mm -hmm. Again, we're supporting the head and making sure that stays in the position that we want it in. If possible, I try and have my elbow by their shoulder so that if they do start to roll further, then I can indicate to them that that's not where I need them to be. That's still feeling okay. Yeah. Now again, if the crystals have been loose, Donna may feel dizzy in this position. So we wait until any dizziness is gone. Okay. And then once everything feels okay, if you bring both feet forward, so dangling over the edge, so we always move the body before the head. Okay, when you're ready, if you sit yourself up for me and look down towards your knees, drop forward, hold it there. That's good. So again, they may feel a little bit dizzy into this position. I get them to look down towards their knees. The last thing we want people to do is to look up to the ceiling, because again, that will tip the crystals into a different canal and make them feel an awful lot worse, which we don't want. Okay. The other thing to be aware of is that you support them, but don't stand directly behind if you can help it, because if they do tip back, then it hurts. So just making sure they're nice and safe. And so are you. Okay? Yep. And look straight ahead. That's good. And that's the Dix Hall Pike and Epley Maneuver. Now I do advise people when they've had the Epley Maneuver to sleep propped up for a couple of nights, and no looking up, just be careful how far down you look. So looking down a little is okay, but a full-on bend down to pick up the fiver on the floor, 
bend with the knees to pick it up. Okay, that feel okay? Yeah. Lovely, and that's the Dix Hall Pike and the Epley Maneuver for right-sided BPPV. So for left-sided, you start on the left, turn to the right and to the right, so you always turn away from the bad ear. Thank you very much for watching.